Greetings everyone, Marvin Ford with Great American Survival. Hope everybody's having a great week. This week we have another special review. We've got our November Karen box. It's awesome. This is probably the smallest Karen box I've ever, I've ever received. But, can't judge a book by its cover. Stick with us, we'll get back and we'll show you what they sent us. Alright guys, just like I said before, this is our Karen box for November. Um, it does come with some cool promo codes. I'll put those down in here. They always do. They always give us some good promo codes. They've got some great products. Um, we've only got three products in this box. And um, we're going to start off. We're starting off with a Cabin Fever Game Bandana. Okay. Um, I am a very much a handkerchief bandana guy. I always have one on me. Um, this one's different. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. That's different, I can honestly say. Oh, I see it. Can you see the pattern? It's a checker pattern. And it's also a chessboard. But it's also a dot and boxes game. You know where you box off the dots and make squares? And then it's also marbles, scoreboard. You know where you lay it down like so and then you play your marbles and you gotta knock them out of the ring? So that's different. Don't know how much the marble part comes in handy, but um, that's pretty cool though. I can honestly say I've never, I don't have one of those. And um, I do have quite a few pieces um, chess pieces that I've actually made, but they're not really like to a set. They're just pieces of wood I whittled into different things at the time. But um, that's pretty cool. You know? I like that. That's different. Um, I, like them to, I like products to be multi-purpose. I like them to all have more than one purpose. This right here. Of course, you got your basic bandana stuff of what you could use it for. Keep yourself dry. Use it medically as a splint or a brace. Um, but you can also use it to filter me, uh, like organic matter from water. You can use it um, for fire tender, you know, to carry stuff. You can use it to bundle stuff together, like as a, you know, torn into strips or just kept solid. Use it to tie stuff, um, strap something down. There's all kinds of uses for a bandana. You should always have one on you. I've got one on me every day. Um, I always have one on me. They come in handy. Uh, they sent us some chocolate bars. We got a couple of these a few in a in another subscription box not too long ago. These were really, really good. They're called Solomon, Solazen. And um, I think this is the same kind as what I got the last time. It was with chocolate with caramel. And um, I've got two different ones. One's chocolate, dark chocolate with sea salt. And this one is dark chocolate, sea salt with caramel. These were actually really good. I, um, I The other two were like this. And um, they were very good. I was kind of shocked to get chocolate in a, in a hiking box or anything like that. So, and um, this right here, I can honestly say was definitely a first. I was not expecting it. Um, they do give you some cool, some very cool promo codes. I'll put those on here in a minute. But they sent us some Mission Vapor Active Performance Boxer Briefs. Yeah. The only thing I will say about that, I was kind of shocked that they sent me some drawers. You know? Okay. I would say I was completely blown away and I was like disappointed, except for the fact that I actually own some exactly like this from the same company and I bought them at REI. They, were, they weren't cheap, but they work really good and they're very comfortable, especially if you are camping and hiking. Um, they prevent, they create a vapor barrier because give you a little TMI. Um, when I camp and when I hike, I have a very good 
sleeping bag, but my sleeping bag will get me very warm and I get, you know, sweaty. Don't want that. Then you get cold. Um, it's good to have vapor barriers where you don't have to wear very much and you're comfortable and it makes it where you don't get over warm and you don't overheat and you're just comfortable. These shorts are very good for that. Um, I, I've worn them the last couple times we've camped. It was kind of shocking to get them in this, but I will say they're not cheap. Um, I know you can get them cheap. You can get them cheaper now. Everyone's, you know, sometimes you'll find them on Amazon, but, um, they were, I, I, I want to say they were $35, $40 for just the two uh, when I bought them. Now they're a little cheaper. They're a little more, there's a lot more of them out there. But um, I'm sure you can probably pick them up for probably 20 bucks for the two. But it's a good deal. They're great shorts. Um, I can honestly say I've never received underwear in a box. So hats off to you. You threw me a curve. I was not expecting that. But they're a great product. There's something, one thing I will say about Karen is Karen gives you products that you don't know you need, but you do. This is something that I camp and hike a lot, and I know how much I have how much I like having good products. Socks are the same way. You don't realize how good socks how much good socks make a difference when you're hiking and outdoors but it's dramatic good wool socks like with a they 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 dry out quicker they keep you when they get wet they're wet but they 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 warm up even if they're wet and they're on your body they warm up wool wool socks do the same thing these shorts are very comfortable and um, they don't like ride in places and make you uncomfortable and you're you're not gonna get all chafed up but um, they're very comfortable they're very comfortable I really enjoy having them and I pack mine when I come back from a camp out I wash my gear and I put it into I have little dry dry sacks my one of my dry sacks is right there with my my um, clothes in it and when I come back from a camp out I wash all my gear put my socks and stuff back in the bag just so I have it if in case I want to just go we want to go last minute I've got my gear I've got my overnight gear I've got my socks and underwear the comfortable stuff and then I depending on the weather besides whether or not I'm wearing long sleeves or thermals or if I'm packing one of my wool sweaters or if I'm packing um, one of my base layers that fits real tight just because it's if it's really cold something like that keeps you warm I mean that one little extra layer will make the difference of why you have how you, if you had a great camp out or if you were miserable all weekend and it's stuff you gotta you gotta prepare you gotta be prepared for it and if you don't wear it you don't wear it but you wear it and it might be the only thing you're wearing because you're not wearing a t-shirt over it or you might have a pullover and then once you start hiking of course you're gonna ditch the layer and you're gonna only have that one on that's what it's all about you know, you gotta stay warm and you gotta be comfortable. People go on campouts and they some especially when they're older. Kids, you can take kids hiking and have them on a camp out and them get rained on all weekend and be miserable and they'll still love every minute of it. They'll be talking about it for weeks. You can take them on one where they forgot to wear hiking pants and they were sweatpants and they turned into a sponge while they were hiking because they got wet and all they'll do is talk about how terrible it was and they'll be smiling the whole time they're telling you about it it's that's what it's all about guys that's the, the experience of getting outdoors um even when it's bad it's still better than sitting at home you know it's still better than being indoors and not being out there uh, bad, bad, bad experiences create better judgment. Um, it's just an, just the way it is. You learn more from bad, bad campouts than you do the great ones. The great ones, you have a great time and you have a, you have a lot more, you have a, some really cool memories. 
but the bad ones where you forgot your tarp or you forgot a tent or you brought a tent that didn't have a bathtub bottom and it rained or you know just there's countless things um promo code for the karen box is going to be in the link below check it out um i just did a karen giveaway last month and gave away for you know he'll be getting next month's box so we'll watch for a video from live for a while he won our box and um the, if you click on the link below on the in the description it'll say Karen link if you're looking at trying out the Karen box go check it out and I get points for it and for every certain amount of points once my points builds up to about I think it's 200 points I get a gift box where I can give it away to somebody I'm not gonna get a free you, you can get a free month if you want but I don't want to do that I'd rather give it to somebody else and I'd love to do it again so Click on the links below and check them out. I mean, they're that's what they're all about, guys. Karen is a great company. They do a great job. They have a great box. For 20 bucks. you can't beat it. This one right here is probably the first one that really confused me, but it's great. I will wear those shorts the next time I go out um, on a hike or a camp out. Got another Karen sticker. Um, did get our Karen card. Our Karen card says... What's it say? To those devoid of imagination, a blank place on a map is useless, wa use, useless waste. To others, it's the most valuable part. That I will agree with. Um, so we got the chocolate two pack, we got the cabin fever bandana, and we got the vapor active boxer briefs. Awesome. Um, just awesome, guys. We also got some, um, we got a promo code from Colton, which is the company that makes the bandana. We got another one from the chocolate company, Salazon. And we also got one for snow planks. Snow planks, uh, snow sliding vehicles. Our powdered. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that one up. Snow planks. I don't know who snow planks is. I've never heard of that. Good to go. Recipes developed for one goal to elevate your expectations of what trail food is supposed to be like. That's pretty cool. I've heard of those. Good to go is a company that you order your food and they, they put stuff together for you. That's pretty cool. There's a promo code for that 20% off. And that's a GTG Karen 20. I'll put that across here. Snow planks. That one I've already done. Salazon. We've already done that one. And Coulter. We've done that. So. Get out there, everybody. Enjoy yourself. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.